everybody. It's lovely to see so many um, people on the live streams today. Uh, as, as Andrew said, I'm the Head of Development and Community Engagement for PTFS, uh, and I'm going to be taking the bold move today and giving a bit of a live demo uh, of something that's still in development, so wish me luck. I'll uh, start by trying to share, share the screen, which it doesn't want to do. Ailish, you may need to allow me to share screen at the moment. It's only letting me do whiteboard. I must admit, this isn't a problem I predicted. Okay, that's plan showing B. now, Martin. Plan B is letting me do portion of screen instead of screen. Can we see that now? Excellent. Okay, so I'm going to start by demonstrating the uh, item bundling um, development that we're working on. So this is the ability to bundle various items together into one new item that can be circulated as a whole. So you might use this for things like uh, resource boxes for schools, where you may want to group a set of historical resources into one History 101 box, or for uh, another example, maybe a music library where they wish to, uh, to bundle together uh, an orchestral set, so a set of instruments or a set of uh, uh, musical sets. Uh, so the, the <clears throat> the bundling feature, uh, you have to create a, an overall bundle uh, bibli bibliographic record to be able to, um, to search on. Uh, and the only thing special about a bundle bibliographic is we need to make sure Koa knows it's a collection type record. So that's uh, the leader position seven needs to be a, a collection C. Uh, so here's one I've prepared earlier. So upon saving with your um, collection level C, we've got, I've got my uh, example Roman history set one, uh, and I've added just a normal item uh, to circulate. Uh, in this case, I've created a new item type of resource box uh, to this um, item. And by being a collection type record, we've exposed a new manage bundle button uh, in the, the holdings record. Clicking that will expose a little bit more functionality so we can manage our set. As you can see here at the moment, there are no items added to our set. So we've got a nice add to bundle button uh, and a nice remove from the bundle. So to create a bundle, it's a case of scanning barcodes for items that we've, we want to add into this set. Uh, so I'm gonna copy from a previous record. So as we're making a Roman set, I'm adding some lectures from lectures on epistle to the Romans. And I'm gonna copy the barcode of the first item. Of course, in real life, you're more likely to scan, but I don't have a scanner at, at my home office. Uh, so we've successfully added uh, the new item, uh, comes up with a nice pop-up. If I try and add the same one again, you'll get a friendly error message to say the item is already attached. Uh, if I try and add a non-existing item, you'll get a slightly less friendly error to say, uh, that your, your item may not exist. And let's add a few more to make the bundle a bit more interesting. Uh, and one from a completely different record. And we deliberately don't 
close the box so you can just scan, submit, scan, submit all in one action rather than having to reopen the box. And on close, we'll find that the table updates to display the current list. Uh, let's look at the, the records go away zoom that we've just added you can see they should now say they're given a not for loan status so you can't loan them individually anymore and they come up with a link saying added to bundle uh, and the the bundle that are they're now linked to so you can see i added two from this two items from lectures on epistle to the romans and I left one as can circulate on its own. And I added one from uh, the epistle of Paul to the Romans. So you can see that that single item is no longer for loan and is part of the Roman history set. Similarly, we can remove items in the same, uh, the same sort of way. At the moment, because I want to show you how the circulation side works, we will we'll leave those as is. So checking out, uh, checking out works as it does with other normal items. So we search for patron and we check out using the barcode of the, the parent item. So in this case, our box one. you're seeing a preview of the, the next step. So our checkout worked as expected. Uh, no verification or validation at this point, your box should now be in the hands of the patron. Checking in, making just checking for my notes to make sure I've not missed anything. Checking in is similar to, uh, Checking in is normal. So scan the, the barcode of the overall item. But this time we are faced with a validation or verification modal. Uh, so you, you have a list of all of the items you're expecting to see in the, in the bundle. And the expectation is that you scan each of the items out of the box and into um, your app check-in to verify that they're actually present. Uh, Good barcodes will immediately give you a verified prompt. If it's a bad or unexpected item, so if someone's put the wrong item in a box in the box you're checking in, uh, you'll get an unexpected prompt. Uh, and the expectation is that you scan as many items as you've got. But in this case, I'm going to deliberately act as if one of the items hasn't come back. So I'm going to confirm check in and mark any items that were missing as lost. So as we can see here, we have a new alert saying the bundle has some missing items. Uh, it gives us the ability to view and print a contents list, an updated contents list, which will now miss out the ones that were marked as missing, and the ability to view a list of the missing items in case you want to go and pick off your shelves so you can replace some of them. Uh, and the items that were missing are now marked as uh, using a new item lost status. And as we checked out to David, uh, there we, go. we should now see, we can link to his record that there is now a claims returned lost line. So, he lost the lectures on epistle uh, particular item and it was due on that check-in just part of the part of the bundle we can also see let's check one of my other uh, examples
Uh, so we can see the, the item he lost is now marked as lost as part of the bundle, but it's still attached to the, to the, the bundle. So you can see where it went lost. Uh, and that links through to the returns claim message as well. So you can track where your items are, whether they've been checked in, whether they've been gone missing from a box, uh, and you can then chase up to claim uh, if someone claims they returned it as part of a, a bundle check-in, you can then track whether that individual items within a box are, are overdue uh, and go and trace them. I think that's everything on, on the bundling of items. Uh, I'll take, take questions after, after this quick chat. Um, so we can move on to item bookings. Oh. Uh, so item bookings. That is the ability to book an item ahead of time uh, for a particular window of time. So as opposed to uh, holds or reserves where you're placing a reserve and you're put in a queue to wait for the next time the item comes back, uh, bookings allows you to pick a specific date um, to, to, to circulate that item. So we have a new button uh, on item records or on, on bib records, uh, place booking. The place booking modal allows you to search for your user. Development server is always a little bit slow. You can either pick any item or pick a specific item at this point. And then you've got a period where you can pick your, your dates um, to, to make that booking. And it's obviously a period. Submit. and your booking should have been placed. Uh, if I try to do a second booking on that item, we should find that the date period is now grayed out. There we go. It took a while to, to get the information from the background. So the first to the eighth is now grayed out because that item is already booked for that period. Uh, we can't book it for that same period again. We've also added a new bookings tab uh, in the details of the, the record. Uh, where we <coughs> show a graphical representation of which, which items are booked over what period. And there's also a table for that as well. And then finally, not finally, uh, there is a new report under the circulation area, bookings to collect. So in a similar way, you may be doing holds to pull, so going and, and grabbing items off of shelves uh, in the queue for, for people to come and collect. Bookings works on a similar way. We have a, a bookings to pull report, and you can pick your dates. We can see it's the start date of that booking. So we've got two bookings, uh, KS1 resource book box, and Roman history that start today uh, and thus need to be picked off the shelf and, and marked as ready for users to come and collect. Let's try and check out our box. Oh. So we know that box one was booked for today. And due to that, we get a confirmation dialog and we will reduce the due date uh, automatically uh, and then give you the option to cancel that checkout. But we'll reduce that due date, uh, which will have normally been set by the circulation rules. We'll reduce it so that the book is or the item is meant to be back before that booking date. That is as far as we've, we've got with bookings at the moment to say this is all quite work in progress. So. Uh, I'm pleased it's gone as well as it has. Uh, things we're looking to add. Uh, at the moment, bookings are tied to circulation rules in terms of what you are allowed to book, but they are not tied to circulation rules for the period you can book for. Uh, I intend to add that. And we, I intend to add a, a buffer period. So uh, 
in that previous check-in, it said you can't check out or we're, we're reducing your uh, loan period. We're, I'm going to add a, the ability to reduce that loan period and give a, a one day buffer so that um, before the item is due back out again, uh, for example. Uh, and we're working on some logistics pieces for uh, the, the learning resources libraries. Do we have any questions if I monitor the chat for a moment? Zoom's catching up. I can see chat coming in. There is a question, Martin, about bookings. Can they be made by the, by the hour? Yes. So bookings have been, I've added the ability in the, the, the background at the moment, and you can choose hourly or daily loans. Uh, your hourly or daily loan setting for the item also affects how the booking can be done at an hourly or daily level um, for, for your booking period. Uh, so yes, that's built in, but at the moment it will have to match the rest of the circulation rules for that particular item type patron combination. Could it be tailored to work as a room booking system? So it's very much tied to catalog records. Uh, so if you can come up with an inventive way of, of cataloging rep, um, room book rooms, I don't see why it couldn't be used as a room booking mechanism uh, on top. Good, good question. Uh, could it be possible to issue individual items from a bundle rather than those items not for loan, becoming not for loan, e.g. a set of vocal scores? Someone might want to take the set, but might only want one. Both, both options would be good. Uh, so at the moment, you it, it still depends on the not for loan statuses. So as long as your librarian has the option to force a checkout, uh, so let's take a look at this one. Ah, I'm not sharing my screen. Yeah, so if I try and check out an item that's in part of a booking, uh, part of a bundle, oh, my system's suddenly going slow. So check out, let's try Lucy this time, shall we? Apart from Lucy is restricted, let's go back to my David record. Uh, so you would get prompted with this is part of a bundle, uh, normally not for loan, yes, override. And in that case, it marks the item as missing from bundle, but checked out. Uh, so it gives you, it, it keeps track that it should be part of the bundle, but allows for, for that override. Zoom, come back. Uh, what was the next question? Uh, yes, Chromebooks could be loaned for four hours. I think that would work with, with bookings. We've created room passes as an item. Yep, brilliant. So rooms could work as, as a, a booking system with that mechanism. Easy move. So in terms of bookings from the OPAC, uh, that, that's part of a work in progress. Uh, I am going to expose exactly this to the OPAC. Similarly, it will be tied to circulation rules to, um, so you'll have a similar to the allow hold from OPAC uh, and allow hold on shelf. There'll be allow booking from OPAC uh, as a circulation option and it will book in a similar way is the, the aim. Work in progress. 